back to another surface only episode. Um, as you can see in the background, uh, we started off by training fire making um, because we needed to get to level 50 to get to Winter Todd, um, which, despite some people's concerns, is above ground. You don't go on the ground to get to Winter Todd, it counts. Um, so, yeah, we started off uh, just cutting the logs as we needed them. Um, I probably didn't need to record this many level ups, but I did anyway. Um, the reason we wanted to get the winter tide is because we need starter cash, and we I don't want to do the agility pyramid. I hate agility pyramids. Um, I can't do the stronghold of security, um, and there's probably other ways to make money. But winter tide's fun. I have two hundred more fire making on my main, so we got that. Uh, doing this actually got us to uh, forty eight wood cutting, which was really awesome because I hope to get the wood cutting guild at some point. Um, but yeah, once we had got to fifty, um, it took a while. Um, we then went and got the Clue Hunter outfit, which I've never gotten before. Um, but it's surprisingly easy. Uh, we need that because it's warm, warm clothing. Um, we got all of that. And then I went to do some thieving. Um, I only did about 10 levels at the cake stalls. Um, just because cake's really good when you're like 10, 15 HP. I want to tell it lasts forever. Um, but yeah, here's all the fire making level ups that we got um, from Winter Todd's. Um, Quite a lot of them. Um, as you can see, the loot in the inventory. Um, I did try to record like opening all the caskets as you're about to see, but the video sort of glitched out. Um, but yeah, we got to 71 fire making, which um, I'm really happy with. I'm hoping to get to 99 at some point. But yeah, after that, we went to uh, run new cash. We went to the fishing shop, bought a lot of feathers, bought. Um, the two fishing rods, and then we just did um, 40 fishing. I knocked that, all, that out all in like an hour or two, I believe. Um, did all of that, it was good. Um, cooked up all the food, and now we're good for food for a while, I think, training wise. Uh, we have like 500 pieces of meat. And then it was quest time. Um, so the first one, obviously, the hardest quest in Fringe Play was Doric's quest. I had to go mine that stuff up um, and then do the space bar simulator again with him, just, there we go, and then, um, which is potion, uh, no, Goblin Diplomacy, I had to do that, um, probably my favourite quest ever, to be quite honest with you, um, mostly because it's like 95% cutscene, so, you know, that's fine by me, really, um, but yeah, and it gives five quest points, um, which is the most quest points you can get for a free play quest, um, along with Romeo and Juliet. Um, then this is the, this is the interesting bit. This is where we break the rules of the account. Oh, you ready? We go down the we go down the ladder, and here we are. We're downstairs now. Um, this, is, this is there is a reason for this. It's so we can train rune crafting. It's so we can get to the rune essence mine, which is above ground, by the way. Um, yeah, this is the only time I'll ever go underground, though. Um, like, ever. I don't, I'll never go underground again. This is the only time, it's the only exception we'll ever make. Um, so just bask in this, and I'll enjoy all the people telling me my account is ruined. Um, yeah. Uh, Rune Mysteries, really annoying quest. Whoever made that, I hope, I hope they die, to be honest, because it's just really annoying. The worst thing in the world. Um, but we got an air talisman, so it's all worth it, apparently. Right. And then, the best fucking quest ever. Imp catcher. Yeah. I spent an hour and a half killing imps. An hour and a half doing this. Just an hour and a half. And it's when you all let that sink in. One hour, 30 minutes doing this. Doing this. Just this. this. This piece of content here. This. Fucking this. I'm really angry about about this, to be honest. It's just, you know. An hour and a half of that fucking amulet. Um, and then I did Mistful in Mystery, which was the Halloween event, wasn't it? Um, 
And that was the last quest I did. I was planning to do more quests, but Imp Catcher took two hours almost, so um, couldn't do that. Um, but next episode we'll probably start off with a barrage of quests. And here we are now, just killing sand crabs. Um, I didn't get any good spots over here, sadly. Um, yeah, it doesn't really matter because it's at my level. They don't really hit that often for me to need free, so it's good. Um, currently, I'm aiming to get 30 defense, and then 30 attack, 30 strength, and then 40 defense, and then for the next episode, we can start training our range. Um, because if you remember, range is going to be how we plan to kill all the wilderness bosses. That's really fucking annoying. Um, so, yeah. Um, I don't know how good this video was. I don't know if there was enough progress. Um, you guys are going to have to let me know if this was good. <laughs> like, if you want to see more progress video, I'll wait longer between uploads or just do more, I guess. Um, yeah, there should be a, next episode should be mostly skilling, but at the end we should have. We might be entering the wilderness for the first time if I do it correctly. Um, also, I'm sorry, the audio in this clip, this clip specifically, is lower quality than um, the other audio. Um, I'm having to use a different microphone. My microphone broke just as I was about to record. This is live, by the way. Um, yeah, so sorry about that. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you whenever I can be bothered to make a level one. So, bye.